Hi guys. guys, we're the Travel Beths and welcome back to our channel. So in today's video we're going to be covering the entry requirements for Thailand in August 2022. First up we have passports. So to enter Thailand you need to have at least six months of validity remaining on your passport at the point of entry. It, you do need to be conscious of how long you're travelling for and when you're going to be travelling to. If you are going to be taking any international flights then you need to check the entry requirements for the countries that you plan on travelling to uh, because you most likely will need six months on your passport to enter them as well. If your passport does expire while you're in Thailand and you're from the UK, you can apply for a new one through the UK government website uh, and we have put the link for that website down below. The second point is about booking your flights. For me, I've always found that the easiest way to find flights at a good price is using Skyscanner. It is really easy to use. As shown on the screen, you simply choose between return or one way. You then type in the airport that you're flying from and where you're flying to. Bangkok BKK is the main airport in Thailand and it's really easy to travel from here to anywhere else in the country. If you then click on departure, you have the option to select the whole month or you can select a specific date. For this example, we're going to look at flights for the whole month of February 2023. The next page that you come to gives you the prices for flights on different dates throughout the entire month. This allows you to compare different dates and choose the cheapest. Once selected, it will then give you all of the options for those dates. At the top you can see it shows you the best, cheapest and fastest routes so you can choose the flights that are most suitable for your needs. Down the left there are also more filters if you wish to be more specific. On many occasions there will be a layover. It is important to check that both flights with the same airline as Skyscanner will also give you the option to fly with multiple airlines. This does tend to involve a self transfer, in which case it is your responsibility to check your luggage off your first fly and back onto your next one. This is pretty easy to do and can often save you money but I would recommend having around 3 hours to do it just to be on the safe side. The next point is the COVID-19 requirements. So as of July this year, the Thailand COVID pass is no longer required for entry into the country. If you have been vaccinated, then you are still required to show proof of a COVID vaccination certificate. If you are from the UK, you can download this through the NHS app or the NHS website. Um, we saved ours on our phones, in our wallets, Apple wallets, but we did also have printed copies as well, just in case, and we would recommend doing the same. If you haven't had your vaccines yet, you can still enter the country, but you would need to show negative PCR test results from a private uh, test company uh, within the last 72 hours. So mask wearing became voluntary in Thailand in June this year. Uh, however, it is still recommended that you do wear them in crowded places and places with bad ventilation, such as uh, public transport. For flying, different airlines have different rules and regulations, so it's definitely worth checking uh, your flight details to find out more information, but you should receive an email confirming the details uh, ahead of your flight. Uh, overall, though, I would recommend bringing a mask with you when you visit in Thailand, uh, especially if you are travelling from one place to another. Uh, we got the coach from, is it Katao to... Yeah. Over to Phuket. to Phuket. And we were required to wear a mask for that journey so it's definitely worth just having one. Next point is about your insurance. For our travel insurance we use the Compare the Market comparison site to find the most suitable insurance for us. The site allows you to fill in the details for your trip and get quotes from different companies. You need to pay close attention to this section as the insurance will only be valid in the countries that are selected. If you plan on moving around but have no established plan, you can choose by region instead of a specific country. Most generic insurance plans do not automatically cover gadgets, winter sports, cruise or business trip cover. You would need to add cover for these yourself, either through your travel insurance or separately. For contact, we recommend using email as one of the options as your phone number may change when you swap to a Thai SIM on arrival or you may cancel your phone contract if you're away for a long time. Check the details entered are correct and get your quotes. 
it is recommended that your insurance covers up to US$10,000 for COVID-19 treatment. However, this is no longer mandatory. You can filter the results and view the details of each plan to choose the most suitable for you. The final point is about sorting out your visa. If you're a British passport holder, you can enter Thailand on a free 30-day visa. This is also known as the visa exemption. This is the case for most other countries, but not all of them. So we recommend going to the Thai Embassy website for the most reliable information. We have also left a link for this down in the description below. If you are wanting to stay in Thailand for longer than 30 days, then you can extend your visa for another 30 days. To do this, you have to go to the Thai Embassy in Bangkok and it'll cost you 1900 baht. Alternatively, if you are from one of the countries that's on the visa exemption list, then you can enter Thailand through the airport a maximum of six times between January the 1st and December 31st. As a tourist, it is important to note, however, that you can't exceed a total of 180 days in the country per year. Thank you for watching this week's video. Um, if you do have any further questions or we've missed anything, then please do leave a comment below and we'll try and get back to you as soon as we can. Yeah, and if you did enjoy this week's video, then please do like and subscribe. Uh, we have a very exciting video coming next week. We're going to the full moon party this weekend, so we're going to be documenting that. Yeah, so it's going to include... We're going to be heading over to Copenhagen and we will be documenting our journey from Phuket over there. Um, how much things cost, what everybody's wearing, all of the kind of stuff that goes on during the full moon party. So do like and subscribe and we will hopefully see you next week. Bye! Bye! <laughs>